okay, one second. I just want to check one thing. Is this this is a Sunday night, right? It's a Sunday night. Is it a Sunday night, Michael? Yes, yes, yes. Because Shikhar Dhawan's footwork showed me he had some Saturday night fever going on. <laughs> 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 oh, he's in fine form. He found his form uh, in, in the England series. He's uh, he's a great player, isn't he? Because what he's <laughs> so good at is he he, he reads what the bowler's going to do. So he assessed Mohamed Shami around the wicket, and he saw mid arm was up, and he knew that Shami was going to bowl that slow ball, that cutter. So he danced down and just launched him into the stand. He was ahead of Mohamed Shami. Yeah, you know, he was thinking ahead of the bowler, and that's what really great T Twenty players can do. They can think. What is the bowler going to bowl? And they get themselves in a position knowing that if they bowl that ball, they can whack it. And if it's not the ball that they expect, they've still got a way of getting out of trouble or maneuvering the ball into another space. Uh, brilliant. I mean, look at that strike rate. That's the kind of straight strike rate you're after. Yeah. 187 at the top of the order. The pitch is pure. And he just deflected it. He hit it. He ran between the wickets hard. Uh, a brilliant player. Great to watch. And, uh, well, Joy, the other thing about Shikhar, which I love, is live by the sword, die by the sword, right? I mean, he's. It's that same. He just kept sort of stepping out outside the off stump, and well, you know, so be it. He still got a smile on his face. He goes. I mean, he's also scored 92 out of 150 strike rate. But that's the thing that you that you not one. Sorry, not 150. Much more than 150, right? He's got it at a 185 strike rate. I think there you go. 187 strike rate. You're going to be happy. But you love that about him. Live by the sword, die by the sword. No, not just that. I mean, look at the. If you look at the chase, the 195 is a chase. Whatever it is, it's high. He never allowed it to go out of reach ever. Okay, yeah. and he never had to, you know, try and whack the ball unnecessarily. He always, every time they were in a bit of pressure, he got a four. It was so beautifully done. Just see the way he's accelerated: 62, 10.33. Then he goes at 9.25. Then at 10.6, he's always got the run rate under control. The other thing he did, which I loved. Is you know, in addition to what Michael said about him, you know, knowing which ball, so reading the bowler by seeing the feet placement, is how well he manipulated the feet. Mm -hmm. So he'd wait for the ball to come, then he'll hit it a bit squarer, then the field would go square, then he'd hit it out over mid wicket, and you can see Rahul is going absolutely mad because he's hitting a ball, Rahul's adjusting the field, and then he's hitting it to where the previous fielder was. And you know, Brian Lara used to be famous for this. This is as good field manipulation. You know, this is not a brute power, you know, Andre Russell kind of, I'm hitting it so hard that it's going. This is like, dude, you're putting it there. Okay, I'm going to put the ball. It's like a chess game out there. And yeah. he was so far ahead of them.